Reflections. We are all reflections of the people who came before us. Dad, you were born in June 1920, just like my stepdad, Howard. You were Eleanor and George's first child, just like Vicki was your first child. You spent most of your life near Seattle and Portland. You attended Catholic schools just like we did when we were young. Dad, I have fond memories of our family trips. The smell and the hum of the engines as I would drift off to sleep on the floor of the Greyhound bus. I remember being awakened by a stinky smell as we approached Portland. Did it smell like that when you lived there? Little did I know then that the smell of Portland was a big improvement to the smog that burned my eyes and left a pain in my chest after playing all day in Pomona. Dad, I know that it was your dream to become a great American author. That dream was delayed because of the start of World War II. You joined the Navy. Danny, too, joined the Navy near the end of the Vietnam War. Danny was stationed on an aircraft carrier just like you. You met Mom on a blind date at the U, got married and moved to Los Angeles. I met Talk at the university as well. I wish you could have met him. He is a wonderful man and a great father to our three boys. He taught them how to fish, like I learned to fish off the rocks at Cannon Beach from Grandpa Ott, your stepdad. Dad, Mary Beth was born after you left us, and she too left us after an awful accident. She, too, was a talented writer. Dad, Mom did a great job raising us and finding a new dad for us. We all have children of our own now. Your ten grandchildren and three great-grandchildren, Zoe, Jude, and Kaya. Daddy, you left us when we were all so young. Vicky was only six. Dookie, four. Danny was three. And I was just one year old starting to walk. I have no memory of you, Dad but I know you live in each and every one of your children, grandchildren. And great-grandchildren. Because we are all reflections of those who came before us. We are all reflections of you. Soon.